Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Left Shake Excel Master, and this is Farah Shake. And today we are going to learn about Excel trim function. Just to keep in mind few important steps before we start the trim function, uh, it can only remove the ASCII space characters from the text and the Unicode text that contains, you know, uh, especially in the web pages in HTML entries that will be not able to be removed with the trim functions. Well, the purpose of the trim function is to remove the extra spaces from the text. Usually when we receive the data, either we will be having some leading or trailing spaces and there will be multiple spaces between the words. So in order to ensure that your data is clean to do some various kind of analysis to get you the accurate output, you would need to clean your data in order to have a satisfying result. As you can see, we have data over here where I wish to make a pivot table and when I'm making a pivot table as you can see over here in place of manufacturing it is repeated two times whereas it is a single department and supply chain is repeated three times well even the supply chain is a single department the reason why it is considering three department because of these spaces so how are we going to remove these leading spaces in the event where you have a large set of a data where the excel has a solution to use the trim function so we we'll use the trim function over here i will name this column as helper equals to trim oops trim sorry about that and we're going to select the cell which you would like to frame so in that way we can move it down excellent you must have seen it has removed all the leading and the trailing spaces and the mother space between the words we're going to copy this data excellent. and we're going to paste it as a value now we don't need this helper column so we can delete this helper column and just as soon as I refresh my data see I have these four departments now my data is correct so this is just a small example where I have showed you the use of the trim function and uh, and indeed this is very helpful especially when you are doing data analysis uh, you come across where you have such kind of a scenario where uh, to group the data and especially when you're doing it in pivots it's very helpful so I would strongly recommend you to try this uh, function and a soft copy of this file will be always available on my Facebook group page you can download from there if you have any queries please feel free to write back to me I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest update. So signing off for today, your friend Farah Sheikh from FSheikh Excel Master.